Man, he's, I like that kid. He's six tool player. I yeah. don't care tool. I mean, and you, honestly, when you talk to him, I talked to him in spring training, and he comes up. He's funny. He's got purple hair. He's talking about his shoe game. And what I noticed from him is he's built, but he's a thin build. He's got power for days, Carlos. He really does. And and his swing, it's yeah. actually has a little bit of that loop that maybe power hitters have. They get accused of having too much of an uppercut. Mm -hmm. I'll show you because he actually does have slight uppercut, but when he's making con contact at the rate that he's making and putting up these numbers, are you gonna argue with that? I mean, he's in the top 10 in WRC plus in the league. Um, and you wouldn't even think of that because, you know, he's over there in Miami, the team it hasn't yeah. exactly exploded yet. So can you say he's hiding over there? I don't think we talk about him enough. This guy is Absolutely. one of the most exciting players in the yeah, game. Yeah, he should be their all-star. And we'll go back to the trade at the deadline. It was Zach Gallen yeah. for Chisholm. Yeah, they both turned into stars. That was really under the radar. It happened like at the same instant that Granke was traded for four prospects. So nobody paid any attention to that trade at all. He's turned into a star. I mean, look at that swing right there, John. I mean, if we can go back on that swing precisely, this one. Yeah. Look at the finish. Ruffalo, I mean, tell me who reminds me of you of because I'm thinking Ken, Ken Griffey, Griffey Jr. Jr. Look That's at this finish. I was going to say. Nice up <laughs> long through the zone. Look at that. It's Griffey all over yeah. again. And he's not. I think there are a lot of Griffey size. impersonators, <laughs> but I think, you know, he's too young to be. He's too young. To I don't know. Yeah, he didn't watch Griffey. him play. Yeah. I mean, but I, yeah, I know like cool. 15 years ago, there were a lot of Griffey impersonators in the majors. But. This one in particular right here, John, that was an off seat pitch slider. Look, look at his finish. Look, look at this. I mean, I, I, I could just bring back <laughs> memories, and of course, he's celebrating. He is having a lot of fun when he does it. But this is the thing. <laughs> yeah, he can go deep. He, he can go black on you. But he absolutely just burns down the line. I mean, these balls are right there. Oh. And th basically, that'll never go into a slump. He is so valuable. This one right here, it's like, okay, ground ball to second base. Now, forget it. He's safe. You got no mm. shot. Gone. You know, his acceleration right there, he, he, he tweaks something. But. You know, he got a flat tire, but he fixed it. <laughs> but this is how fast he gets out of the box. It's really ridiculous. And to watch it in person, have you seen this in person? Roflo, it's like a locomotive. I mean, it gets going. It's like a fast train immediately. Robert the knows he's got that. He's I've got, got the so, same I've got thing. that speed in my bag. <laughs> Look at this. locomotive all the time. I mean, you can put <laughs> the dust behind. Yes. Well, to your point, Lauren, about his slight build, he is, he's, he's got crazy fast twitch and Watch I, this. that's how he's able I think to help you know generate that power how about this company that he's in with you know I mean, you got Buxton and Trout this is that. barrel percentage and sprint speed this is only three players in all of baseball you know if you are in the top above 90 percent barrel percentage you know top top 10 percent look at this the sprint speed these this is it there's no more all right, and guess what? These guys, uh, we're talking about the best players in the game. Trout, Buxton, we could say that. Most complete players, 5-2 five, five, players. Chisholm is in there. You thought we were talking about Trout being in a slump. 99th percent? Yeah. That is that is the That slump. tells you a lot. That's that a is, slump that for him? That's a slump for him. You know, <laughs> he should be 100. <laughs> You're better I, than that. I, I think that every parent and youth player should go back and listen to what he said. I don't which care. Which was, I don't care. And that's not to say he doesn't care about his work. He puts the work in, but it's the results. He's going to trust the process. That's another old saying. Mm -hmm. And he's going to, the results are going to be the results. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to do my best, but I'm going to work hard. But that, I'm not going to sweat the, sweat the result. There's that threshold, right, like as athletes. I mean, not only baseball players, like all athletes, that you have to cross, which is, I have to, yes, I have to work because I want a certain result. I have a goal. But there's that reckless abandon that you need, right? Like that confidence that you have when you're here on the couch, you know, you just let it fly. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, when oh, you does. play. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. He's you, not sure what's coming up most why, times. Why did they laugh? I was serious. Lie. And she had to laugh. I was, I was serious. <laughs> No, that I, reckless abandon. Yeah, He's not stressing the ups exactly and downs. I hear you guys talk about it all the time, that this game will humble you and it'll wear you down. And that's a skill, what he has. Uh, absolutely.